this to stop the inside of my car from getting too hot in the sun. But how do you protect something that's one and a half million kilometres nearer to the sun and is worth over 15 million pounds? This investigation is in space. Trevor Edwards designs satellites. We're in a clean room, hence the hats. Trevor. Hello, Femi. Hello. Now, what are the problems of a satellite being in space? Because it is an unusual environment. Yes, this is a model of, of a part of a satellite called SOHO. And it's in an orbit where one end is always facing the sun. The metal here can reach about... The metal nearest the sun can get to 80 degrees Celsius, but the other end, which never gets heated, could be as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. This means the metal would expand at different rates and cause the satellite to warp. So, you want me to investigate how to solve this problem? Yes, please, Danny. I'm on the case. Simon Peskett also worked on SOHO. He's got an idea that might help. This equipment simulates the conditions in space. These aluminium rods, the metal SOHO's made of, are connected to a mirror, which reflects a laser beam onto a screen. That's where it is now. I heat one rod to 80 degrees Celsius, which will make it expand. And cool the other to minus 10 degrees, which makes it contract slightly. The different rates of expansion cause the mirror to twist and deflect the beam. AL for aluminium, but Simon has another metal to try. It's called Inva. Wow. Let's see what Inva can do. We change the rods and repeat the process. Now let's see what's happened to the beam. Excellent, it hasn't moved at all. Time to find Trevor to show him my discovery. Trevor, I think I cracked it. This is Inva and it doesn't expand or contract at all. Well, thanks, Femi. That will certainly get us over the problem of warping. But there's one drawback. What's that? Try weighing it. OK. Aluminium, 160 grams. Inver, 420 grams. I need to do some serious thinking. Ah, oh, this is the serious thinking I love. Phew, it's hot. I'll just cool down a bit. This will drink. Ooh, that ice is cold. Still, my hands will warm it. Hang on. Cooling, warming, got it! Trevor, I've got it this time. Oops. Um, we need to cool the hot bit and warm the cool bit. Well done, Femi. That's exactly what we did on Soho. This is a radiator. It allows the heat to flow from this part of the structure into space where it's much colder. And this tiny heater makes sure that this part of the structure is at the same temperature as the front. So, therefore, there's no distortion. 